This is so ridiculous. I don't even know when the last time I was this angry, but I am fucking inferior, infuriated. However you say the goddamn word. I am so upset. I'm stranded here at Dallas Fort Worth International. This makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. First of all, my original flight was set for tonight at 7 p.m. We didn't get on the plane until nine. We were supposed to land shortly after 11. That changed. Um, when we did land, first of all, I'm not even gonna talk about the turbulence, but when we did land, um, we had to sit on the runway for about 40 minutes until they found us a gate to pull up to. And then, you know, as soon as the plane parks or do whatever, people start standing up and grabbing bags and shit, like sit the fuck down where y'all going. I just don't get it. Only to get off the fucking plane to come out here. And I travel very simple. Carry on in a book bag, because I don't got time to be waiting for no bags and all the other shit. Get off the plane, come out here, think I'm for the hop in the Uber or Lyft. And the price gouging is out of this fucking world. For a Lyft, the starting rate was $75. Not a big deal. But a big deal because I live six minutes away from the fucking airport. I'll walk before I pay $75. So then I go to Uber. Basic starts off at like $45. Again, no big deal. Honestly, it's really no big deal. But they kept coming up as unavailable, 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 unavailable. So me, I just so happened to ask people walking by, hey, are you guys having an issue with Uber or Lyft? Yeah, we can't find one. We can't find one. We can't find one. So then I go downstairs where everyone else was kind of transferring themselves to. For the cab line, cab line is wrapped around the corner. The one cab I do see is cash only. Can't get back inside of the airport. So everything is like tunnel. You know, let me show you. You can't really get back into where the ATM is, but you're kind of traveling through there to get to the cab and all that other bullshit. Come back upstairs. Another hour of on the app, on the Uber and Lyft app of trying to find an Uber. And when I came back up, people are catching Ubers left and fucking right. I'm like, why is not, why aren't cars, available cars or drivers popping up on my goddamn app? So this is all internally. I'm just processing this internally and I'm getting fucking angry the more and more I think about the bullshit. So then I say, okay, let me go on Twitter because you get, you get instant reaction and uh, instant reply from these brands and blogs and products or what have you. So I go to Twitter and I say, Uber, I don't know what the price gouging is going on with you and Lyft tonight, but a normal uber or lift ride from dfw to my house is a little over twenty dollars tonight lift is starting off at 75 and uber is starting off at 45 like what the fuck is going on long story short i start to complain they asked me to dm them the phone number that's associated with my account i do that and two minutes later a fucking lift says it's available in the next seven minutes. Now, I ain't gonna make this a white and black thing, but you see, all the white people don't came and got their lifts. It's just me out here. Oh, they don't came and got all the white people. And the nigga is stranded. Look, airport security. This bitch didn't get out the car to offer no kind of support. I'm gonna need therapy after this. This is a traumatic experience. I don't know anybody here in Dallas but my coworkers, and I'd be damned if I called them at one o'clock in the morning and they got to get up at two something. I'm not for the call and harass them people to come pick me up from the airport um, this time of morning. This ain't, this not my goddamn Uber or Lyft. I'm aggravated. Are you? No, you're not. Mm -mm. All right, I'm aggravated. It said that the Uber or Lyft was gonna be here in seven minutes seven goddamn minutes ago. I'm ready to go home. Bye, y'all. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk.